Uh, this is a wee short video, uh, just a wee selection of crystal oscillators uh, from various uh, print circuit boards for clock oscillators and the likes. Just all in the little metal cans and quite quite old nowadays. There's an older one I have which I wanted to have a look at is this one. This one is made of glass so you can actually see the the crystal element inside and you can it's rated at just short short of 5000 kilohertz. You can just make the writing out on it there. But what's interesting about this is also it's in a little glass tube which has got a, a high vacuum in it. This is a getter which suggests the vacuum is very good in there. And that's so that there is no influence by temperature changes from conduction or convection inside the, the glass. So this oscillator was actually out of a crystal oven uh, from the 1960s uh, and it was quite accurately kept maintained at a temperature. It's actually marked on it as 65.2 degrees on the top. So for the accuracy of the frequency it's marked on it at that temperature. So the oven was maintaining that temperature uh, during operation for that crystal. There was also a tuning device, well it's actually just a capacitor, which is worth having a look at because it's quite interesting. Uh, this little capacitor, if I dismantle it, you can vary the plates by turning the, the large screw here, but uh, once, if you remove it all together, you can actually see the multiple cylinders in there that overlap to give you the change in capacitance for fine tuning for the resonant frequency. I have a slightly more modern crystal in an oven, a complete unit here. This was out, uh, when I say slightly more modern, it's still 1980s I think we're at, and this is out of a, I think it's a Raycal modem, so quite old piece of equipment too, and we can actually open this up and have a look at it. So we've got the connections going into the, this enclosure through here, and inside quite a lot of insulation, as you probably expect, because we're trying to keep apart the, at a temperature. And inside that, another little box. And you can see the temperature's been fairly high because it's slightly uh, changed colour in the centre there. So we'll try and dismantle it a little further and see what's actually inside. This will also be metal shielding as well. And uh, we can actually see the crystals in this part here. Right, we can remove the actual crystal oscillator from the oven and it's inside here. This is a heat sink to maintain a fairly even temperature there. It won't fluctuate too much. Again, a little tuning uh, variable capacitor here as well. I think that's maybe as far as I take it really. You can actually see the crystal element just inside here. but I don't want to completely wreck it, trying to get that out of there. But you can see it's a very similar type of can as that, except again, this is a glass one in there, so you can see the inside. It turns out the, um, the socket of this is, is glued in, but the crystal is in a socket, so you can actually remove it, and you can see the crystal inside the enclosure there. We found that reasonably interesting. Thanks for watching.